Hello, this is Valkyrie here, and today I'm going to help you become a better medicine cat. The role of a medicine cat is stressful, confusing, and complicated, especially when you don't know what to do. In this video, I'm going to explain what is required of a medicine cat and how you can become an expert in no time. this video, I'm going to use my morph, Petal Cry. Step 1. Understanding the role. Medicine cats are a very complicated role, as they have some lore to them that needs to be understood. The two main parts of your role is to heal your clan mates and receive prophecies from Star Clan. What is Star Clan? The warrior ancestors that the clans worship. Medicine cats in the game live in the medicine den, where they collect and store herbs in the medicine shelf. These herbs can be chewed into a poultice, where they can be applied onto a physical wound, or they can be eaten. Each herb has their own unique use. Medicine cats perform special ceremonies at the Moonstone. They also help guide the leader through Starclam's wisdom. There can be multiple medicine cats or medicine cat apprentices at the time. There is no stated limit. However, two fully trained medicine cats and two learning ones are usually enough. Step 2. Know your herbs and terms. In Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition, there are herbs that you can interact with, collect and store. These herbs have their own unique properties that you can use in game. This is the list of them. Juniper, poppy seeds, borage, dock, yarrow, chervil, catmint, and thyme. Now, here are their uses. Juniper is used to soothe belly aches and for those who struggle breathing. Poppy seeds make a cat sleepy when eaten. They are often used to help relieve a cat after a serious event. Do not feed poppy seeds to queens. Borage is often used to increase a queen's milk supply. They are also used for fevers. Dock is used to soothe sore pads and scratches. It stings when applied. Yarrow is applied to wounds to extract poison. It makes a cat vomit when consumed. Chervil is used to treat infected wounds. Catmint is used to treat white cough or green cough. Cat pneumonia. Do not give your patient too much. Time is eaten to calm a cat down after shock. There are also interactable objects that you can use to help heal, such as cobwebs. Cobwebs can be applied to a wound to help keep the poultice in place. These herbs and objects can be found all over the territories, more so in others. If you ever need help with these herbs, go to the Starpedia in the bottom guide. Step 3. Complications and Tasks There is no doubt that the role of the medicine cat is super stressful. You have to heal cats straight away, gather a pile of herbs and remember all their uses. You will also find that the role comes with a lot of issues and drama, such as herb stealers, overcrowding medicine dens and exaggerated deaths. To solve problems like this, Try to stay as calm and polite as possible. However, do not hesitate to tell people to give you some breathing room. Please respect the medicine cat when they tell you to leave. It's nothing personal, they just need some space. Step 4. Ceremonies and Law Leaders are not the only role that perform ceremonies. Medicine cats do too. They perform medicine cat naming ceremonies at the Moonstone and also help the leader when it comes to their lives. Medicine cats also participate in a very special leader choosing ceremony if both leader and deputy are gone from the roleplay. Medicine cats are required to travel to the Moonstone every half moon to meet up with Starclan and the other medicine cats. Here, they gain prophecies from Starclan and also share news. This can be an especially fun thing to roleplay. Step 5. Personal tips from yours truly. Here are my personal roleplay tips when it comes to playing as a medicine cat. Try to stay calm in stressful situations. If you can't deal with this, then try not to be a medicine cat. 
It's great to have a medicine apprentice with you. They can help you collect herbs and it's fun to share information with them. If you are confused, check the Starpedia. It can help you with information on the herbs and the territories. If you've run out of herbs and are too lazy to collect them, don't roleplay with them. You don't have to use them. I like to keep a list of herbs that are not in the game. This can help me avoid having to use the ones in game so often when I can just roleplay these other herbs. You could write down these herbs on a notepad or just remember them. If a cat dies in the roleplay, don't stress about it. It's not your fault. It was just planned. Remember that you are not bound by your duties. You can have a break once in a while. Retire or hang out with your friends. And that's it. I hope this video helped you. And if you have any issues with my video or have anything more to add, please comment below. I hope you have a great day or night.